So tomorrow night, the Greensboro Symphony is back there performing at the Stephen Tanger Center. Yeah, and joining us now to share more about that performance is Robert Moody. He is the conductor for the Greensboro Symphony's performance tomorrow. Good morning, Robert. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Great to be here. Excellent. Well, first I want you to talk about how you got started in your career as a conductor. And, and I guess include in that, how do you make the transition from a musician to a conductor? Yeah, sure. Um, so I, I'm, I don't come from a classical music family. I am from uh, South Carolina and I'm really, I'm from Greenville, South Carolina, but my mother and her family is from a place called Possum Kingdom, South Carolina. I did not make that up, it's real. <laughs> you can imagine there was no Mozart or Tchaikovsky in Possum Kingdom. No. So in the fourth grade in the public school system, a teacher came to our class and wanted to sign up kids to be in the strings class. I didn't sign up. I really don't even remember it happening. But when the teacher came back and called off the names of kids to go to the class, he called my name. And a girl in my class, Sherry Bednar, she started laughing because she remembered she had put my name on the sign-up sheet. And you know, here I am. That's how it all oh began. Oh my gosh, Thank that's you a to great Sherry. story. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> um, I picked the cello and I played the cello to this day. I also was a singer. And by the time I was in high school, I was really struggling between, should I uh, sort of push towards being a singing career or a career as a cellist? And that's the moment when um, I got interested in conducting. The Chicago Symphony came on tour to Greenville, South Carolina. I saw them, I went with my class. Actually, Greenville has a high school for the arts. I went with my class and um, when I saw that unbelievable experience and a very famous conductor, uh, George Schulte, I was like, I want to do that. I want to try what that guy is doing on the podium. And yeah. honestly, I've been really hooked ever since. I, I don't know if one, how somebody finds their calling or if it, call, if it finds them, but it definitely felt like the right serendipity and the right fit. Wow, and here you are today. So Robert, tell us about this weekend's concert. What can people enjoy about it? Yeah, it's gonna be a great concert. This is the kickoff of the Masterworks, the big classics. A concert for the Greensboro Symphony this year and you know if people haven't been to a concert in a while I have to tell you that we have something to offer that really it, it's unique in the 21st century with AI and virtual reality and amazing uh, laser light shows what we can offer is live music and it's there's nothing that replaces live music I don't care if it's a, a four-piece combo or a band but when it's 75 people it's really an amazing experience so I encourage folks to check it out. The second half of the concert, one of the most famous pieces of music ever written, Beethoven's Seventh Symphony. Um, if it helps you to put this in context, the music from Beethoven's Seven was the main music for the movie, The King's Speech, if you guys remember that movie. Yeah. And the first half of the concert is really all sort of a Spanish Latin um, feel. The opening work is by a Mexican composer, Arturo Marquez, Dance on Number no. Two. And this piece starts off like you're in sort of a sultry Havana cafe. And then after a while, the joint starts jumping and it becomes this very big, fast, um, loud, major um, sort of bombastic ending. And honestly, every time I've done this piece of music, the audience just goes crazy. And right after that, we have Gabriel Martins, a cellist who won the Sphinx competition a few years ago. This is a competition for African-American and Latino-American um, classical musicians, and he's going to play the Lalo Cello Concerto. And this work, Lalo was from France, but of Spanish uh, heritage, and it has a completely Spanish feel to it. So if you know that sort of um papa, um papa, um papa, um papa, mm -hmm. you know, that kind of like, I like to be in America, <laughs> that Spanish feel, that Latin feel, that's what you're going to get in the first half of the concert. Very it's incredibly. Cool. Sorry to cut you off. We're running out of time here, Robert. But I do just want to mention to folks at home, this is also your audition to become the director for the Greensboro <laughs> Symphony. So, you know, yeah. maybe some positive reinforcement in that audience would be good for you. So we want to let people know the details of this event. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Um, the Greensboro Symphony back tomorrow night at 8 p.m. That performance at the Tanger Center on North Elm Street. You can grab your ticket right now at greensborosymphony.org.